Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacob Wilson and welcome to the Muscle PhD channel. I'll tell you what, if you haven't yet subscribed, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here today and we love to have you every single day. Today we're gonna to be talking about actually a new topic that is mostly not discussed at all and it's called offset loading. Now, offset loading, really the topic was introduced to me by a really dear friend of mine, Sal Loduca. And basically Sal, he's CEO of a company called Offset Ventures. And basically what it is with offset loading, think when you're going underneath the bench, let's say that by accident you put a five on one side and by accident you put a two and a half on the other, right? Say you have 225 and you're like, put a five on one and a two and a half instead of a five on the other side. You pull it off the bench and what happens? Boom, the weight kind of comes like that. And you're like, oh, it's damn it, and you put it back up, you pull two and a half out and you put the five back on. Now, normally we think that that's offset loading. We, right, we normally think that's a mistake, but we actually have some preliminary research that says it may not be a mistake. Now, we're gonna get more in depth in this, but uh, Charlie is actually doing his dissertation on offset loading. We are the first person to study the impact of offset loading on hypertrophy. So. Let me tell you what, what it is. So first off, offset loading is where you slightly offset one side of the load compared to the other side. Now you ask, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Well, one of the number one questions I've gotten throughout the entire years is my left bicep is bigger than my right bicep or my left pec is bigger than my right pec. And everyone gives the same standard answer. Oh, do unilateral movements, you know, do unilateral cables, use dumbbells, et cetera, et cetera, right? But the thing to understand is that when you look, everyone has asymmetries. So when I do a bench press, most people don't understand. Most people are favoring one side over the other. So you're doing a bench press like this, but you might be favoring the right side over the left. And that makes sense, like especially if you're right hand dominant, okay? So the thing to understand, what offset does is it kind of corrects that. So we actually have preliminary uh, EMG data. That's where you hook up electrodes to the muscle. So let's say like you're benching and your dominant side's the right side. You have less activity in the left pec and the left triceps than the right pec and the right triceps. But when you offset slightly, it evens out that activation on the left. And what we found is that when you did an offset, hypertrophy was non-uniform meaning that if your right pec was bigger than your left, if both pecs grew, the right grew a little bit more than the left. But when you did offset loading, actually the left pec grew symmetrically to the right. Now this preliminary data, and Charlie's gonna answer the question a lot more in his dissertation, but I think the biggest point is that offset loading can be a benefit to you. So how do you do it? Number one, make sure you have a training partner because if you're not used to doing offset loading, you don't wanna actually, um, do it alone. Two, like when I do bench press, I usually don't have collars on, but probably if you're doing offset, you should have collars on because you're not used to it, the weight's gonna fly off. Three, when you offset, you probably don't want to offset, we don't know the answer to this, but, but start off with something low. Offset two and a half to 5% of the load on one side or the other, okay? So that's not much. So whatever percentage of the load, if you're lifting 100 pounds, you might not offset to one side more than 5%, okay? The next thing to understand is make sure you do it with safe exercises, okay? Right now, we practice it with like bench press, but you might do it with barbell curls. If you have one of those leg presses that are it's a dual leg press, okay, which we're getting a dual leg press at ASPE, you might offset a little bit of one side over the other. You know, when you're, if you're lifting heavy and you're doing squats, it may not be the best idea to offset the load. Um, but so right now, try and make sure you pick safe lifts. And then the next thing is offset toward the side that's smaller than the other. So if your left biceps needs to get caught up to your right, maybe offset there. If your left pec needs to get caught up to the right, maybe offset there. And then finally, the thing about offsetting is it is an interesting switch up that shocks the body. We found that the nervous system had to acutely adapt at a much rapid, more rapid pace as compared to normal training. When you've been bench pressing for years the same way, you're never gonna make adaptations. So offset might be a way to bust through a plateau, potentially maybe even gain some strength. So guys, that is my advanced training variable of the day is offset loading. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time.